Okay, so this whole kitchen is gonna get decluttered and organized for the first time. And the reason I couldn't bring myself to do it is because I thought I was gonna feel overwhelmed and nobody could use the kitchen or eat for the entire month or something. But I found an easy way that worked for me and the whole process actually was enjoyable. After organizing my kitchen, I found the things that I did not know I had and now I know the location of every single cup or even a paper clip in my kitchen. I absolutely love the way it turned out and I I'd love for you to stick around so that I can share everything that I have learned throughout this process with you. In this video we're going to be organizing the medicine cabinet, the spices, cups, plates and a lot of things in the kitchen so I'm just gonna wipe down this part of the counter to give myself some working space and then we're gonna start with the medicine cabinet first. So I'm gonna take everything out, put it on the counter, wipe the cabinet and then go through the medicine and try and separate it into categories, just any kind of categories. For example, cold medicine, kids medicine, allergies or something. As I stated earlier, this kitchen has never been organized or decluttered. I did some organization here and there, but not really throughout the kitchen. And I'm very glad I didn't do it earlier because I was not ready. I have successfully decluttered and organized some major areas in my house like my kids playroom and the garage but somehow when it came to the kitchen I just couldn't bring myself to doing it. I thought I had a time limit like one day or something which I knew I wasn't gonna be able to do. I knew this project was gonna take me maybe a week maybe two if I had to pull everything out all at once and put this puzzle back together somehow. So we all have families to feed and we can't just stop living for a month so I can understand where the frustration and overwhelming comes from when it comes to de decluttering and organizing the kitchen. So I watched quite a few videos on this topic and I did my research and I have come to a conclusion that the best way to do a kitchen declutter would be by category. That way I didn't have to take the entire kitchen while organizing it I just had to have my working space. Also, I didn't set any crazy time limits, I just decided to go as I go. And if it doesn't bother anybody, who cares if it's gonna take a whole month, you know? As long as it's done properly and the system is working for you, it's gonna turn out beautifully. We have a very, very small kitchen, so the way I decided to do it was to pick one counter as my working space and the other counter for my cooking space or meal prep space. I also found it important to keep the kitchen tidy during the process because dirty plates they do get on your way. So I kept up with the dishwasher and it wasn't that difficult since I was already in the kitchen. While I was doing the medicine cabinet I reminded myself to take all of the packaging off the medicine because the last thing you want to do in the middle of the night with a crying baby is to try and take that plastic off of the kids Tylenol. Also my name is Jania, I'm a stay at home wife and a mother to 2 year old girl and a 10 month old boy. I love making real life cleaning and organization videos as well as an occasional makeover. If you enjoy that kind of content I hope you consider subscribing to this new channel of mine. So far my categories in the medicine cabinet were turning out to be something that doesn't belong in here, trash, kids medicine, adult medicine, uh, allergies and a couple of miscellaneous bins. I'm going to also label as much as I can. Although I didn't set any strict time limitations to complete this project, I also didn't let myself take weekly breaks after each area was organized. As soon as I was done with one cabinet, I tried to start on the next one, even if it meant leaving everything on the counters overnight. I'm a little bit naughty. I'm a little bit too consumed. But every part of my body is telling me to run away from you. Come a little bit closer. Yeah, yeah. Come a little bit closer. Yeah. You're a little bit crazy. It's been days, but you never change. What's love got to do with it? He comes around, better not that stuff down. Come a little bit closer. Okay, so I do keep my dishwashing pads in the medicine cabinets high up because that's the only way I can assure that my 10 month old son doesn't get to them. Now that the medicine cabinet is done and I labeled the main categories in there, we're switching to the spices cabinet. I'm too fly. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. You're a little bit selfish. You get mad every time you lose. You can't take me with you. I'm scared you're gonna blow your fuse. Come a little bit closer. Yeah. 
So I follow the same process here, take everything out of the cabinets, clean the cabinets and then I'm going through all the spices trying to recognize some kind of category as well as checking the expiration dates. It's probably going to be my husband's spices for grilling, then cooking spices and everything that's miscellaneous and then I'm gonna subcategorize them any farther as I go. So my husband has a lot of grilling spices and all sort of rubs and stuff. I don't know what they are. I'm not going to mess too much with them. I am just going to wait for him to tell me if he wants to discard anything. But for now, I'm going to separate them into containers by, I guess, the way the packaging looks and uh, just to make life easier. So to my surprise, after I discarded everything we don't use and don't like and everything that is expired, I was left with the spices that are our favorite spices and we use the most. Of course, I had to throw away a couple of our favorites which were expired, but I'll get some more. For now, I had enough spices and I was gonna organize them using the organizer I never thought I would use again. So this organizer my husband used to have before we even got married. So all of the spices are 100 years old, which I had to throw away. Some of them were even unopened. So we never used this organizer and I decided to just wash it, renew it, relabel everything. And I think you want to see the transformation of the spice organizer. So these are all the spices I need to organize and put into those containers. My lovely mother-in-law knows that I like organizing things, so this Christmas she gave me Cricut, which was a huge surprise for me. Just like a lot of other women, I wanted to have beautiful labels in my kitchen and everywhere else, but I wasn't going to buy this machine because they can get pretty pricey. So thank you, mother-in-law. Now I'm going to make my first project. Although I did practice a little bit on my medicine cabinet, but this is an official project. I wanted to mention quite truthfully that it took me a minute to fall in love with my Cricut. I know that everybody says it's so easy to use, but at the beginning I was completely lost. I'm a person that does not, did not know how to use transfer tape and I had to watch a bunch of videos just to find the right one to walk me through every single step of the way. And if I didn't have my Cricut or my spice organizer today, I would probably go as I was originally planning to organize my spices, which is a bunch of DIY spinning trays 
from the dollar store that would cost me three dollars that's when you put two plates together in marbles and make them spin if you remember i made one earlier when I, when i was organizing my husband's uh, grilling seasoning as far as the labels go i would probably use the labels i ordered from amazon for like seven dollars because i did not know i was going to get the cricket so that's not to say that i don't love it i'm just saying that there is no need to have it in order to beautifully organize your kitchen Think we lost all, but who will take the fall? Who will win it all? You know the cost, still you go through walls. Keep on acting small. Even if you got something left to lose. Even if there is something left for you to prove. I got bad taste of hanging around you. Keep it cool, bending all the rules, bending all the rules. It gets colder, but I hate being cool. I can't be cool to you. Even if you got something left to lose. Well, the spices are ready, and as you can see, I was, I was even trying to organize them by colors. I couldn't help myself. I was incredibly in love with the new look of this organizer. So in this cabinet you have extra salt just because I know I'll go through it quite quickly so I made an extra one. Now at those cabinets I'm sure everybody has them, they're quite a pain because you can't reach those spaces. So those are only my refills for my spices. I do not plan on going there on a daily basis. So I spoke to my husband and the upper shelf is going to be his because he's the only one that can reach it. The first spices you see are the ones that he uses the most the ones behind them he doesn't use so much and the ones in the blue bin are the ones that he hardly ever uses but does not want to throw them away or give them away do anything just wants to keep them and you'll see more of my husband's spices in the middle shelf in that spinning organizer but i might start using them too so that's it for the spice organizer now we're moving on to the plate shelf so an important thing to do in those kind of uh, declutterings, which is plates and cups, is to have all your plates and cups in front of you, not somewhere in the living room or the kids room, in the dishwasher or the sink, if possible, of course. Obviously, because knowing your inventory helps you kind of estimate how much plates and cups you're dealing with and how much space you have to have. I just want to make you feel we do about you So just tell me how and I'll do it, babe I love it when you whisper in my ear Words only meant for me to in my video of deep cleaning the kitchen, I did this cleaning cabinets, especially the bottom ones with my toothbrush and it worked really great. So I'm doing the same thing with these disgusting cabinets. Because kitchen is full of oil and grease, this is not regular kind of dust. This is sticky dust that it's not that easy to get rid of. So I found the toothbrush works the best as well as some degreasing cleaning solution, which is I normally use dishwashing soap and vinegar mixed in a spray bottle. Sometimes I add water if I need to, sometimes I don't. We are a family of four, two kids and two adults, so we don't need that many glasses and I'm going to declutter a bunch here. 
I'm also going to use, I think it's called halfway home method, which is where if I'm not sure if I'm ready to part with something or not, I'm just going to put it into a box and put that box into the garage. And then in a few months, if I don't think about those items in there, if I don't use them, then they're going straight into the trash. And if I use them, then they'll find their way back into the kitchen. Okay, this organizer is a game changer in the kitchen, although I did introduce it in my one of my other videos. I couldn't leave it out since this is a kitchen organization video. So, of course, my other mother-in-law, yes, it's a little bit unusual, but I have two. Um, I do only have one husband though. So, my, my other mother-in-law gave me this organizer for Christmas. It's been a great Christmas for me. And it's a beast this thing is humongous it's got every single hook and thing that you can think of when it comes to organization this goes over the sink and it was really easy to put together i did it myself while my husband was asleep and i'm not that kind of woman normally that can put things together anyway that was a knife holder this is a cup holder this is a cutlery holder it's also got the cutting board holder just a holder bunch of hooks paper towel holder it's great so I left that cabinet with literally just the bare minimum I thought we needed and put everything in that halfway home box which I did return a couple of things back literally the next day and I will of course show you the final picture of everything in the second part of this video and this is the organizer I find quite helpful to have in the back wall of my cabinet that's from the dollar store I'm sure everybody knows those kind of organizers this next cabinet is just glasses and kids cups mostly it might look somewhat organized but it's a little crowded so i'm gonna have to declutter it a little bit first i'm going to clean and clear the countertop underneath the cabinet so that i can use it as my workspace and then just follow the same process which is empty and then find and pull them into some kind of categories and as I was mentioning earlier, when doing cups and plates, it really is quite important to know your inventory. So I'm going to make sure that the dishwasher is up to date. If it needs to be refilled or emptied, whatever it is, it needs to be done so that I know what I'm dealing with and know how many cups and plates I have. If you thought for a second that I should have organized all of my cups from all of the cabinets altogether, you were right. 
because I had a couple of cups in the previous cabinet when I was organizing my plates so I wanted to mention that those cups actually belong to my husband he is the one that uses them or should I say does not use them because I decluttered most of them of course with his permission and we were left with only like four of them but either way if I were to organize my kitchen by category and let's say I had a uh, glasses or plates in two or three cabinets i'd have to pull all of those plates out and organize them by category if that's the way i decided to go so also this kitchen organization and decluttering video did turn out to be a little bit too long so i had to break it up into two parts and we're nearing the end of the first part there is the whole other half of the kitchen to be organized in that second part of the video like all the bottom cabinets including the one under the sink all of the drawers the one above the refrigerator just a bunch of organization and decluttering so I hope you consider subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss that second part of kitchen organization and a bunch of other videos of mine see you later and have a great day